The fourth point in liberal policy is this. We must lessen costs of production and improve the land. This can be done by introducing better systems of credit, particularly the credit which a small man needs to start with, by improving transport by road and rail, by extending the use of telephones and electric power, by pushing on with forestry, and by helping schemes of land drainage. These are all definite parts of liberal policy. Fifthly, we can give the cultivator real security. Any estate may now come into the market at any time, and if it does, the better a man has made his holding, the more likely he is to lose it or to have to pay very high to keep it. This can be and will be altered. And where a good cultivator does not want to lock up his money in buying, even at a reasonable price, but prefers absolute security at a fixed rent in family succession, this system will be available. Sixth, we must have better housing for land workers. Hitherto, farmers and workers alike have had to pay taxes and rates towards housing schemes from which hardly any ordinary agricultural workers have derived the slightest benefit because the rents of the new houses have always been much too high for them to pay. The industry of agriculture should have its fair share so that houses that a worker can afford to rent may be built. In some places too, we want small cottages for old couples so that the workers with families can get the larger cottages. Seventh and lastly, there must be a local authority, not officials and not the county council, to care for the land. They will check multiple farming, where, as often happens, it is doing harm. They will earmark the land best suited to give the small man a chance of starting. They will see that new methods of cultivating or dealing with produce are demonstrated and popularized. They will do all they can to see that all land in their area which could be used is used and that no land in their area goes out of condition. They will see that cottages are provided where wanted and that those out of repair or without water supply are put right. Mr. Baldwin's promise that the great basic industry of agriculture should be not merely preserved but restored has come to nothing. He has taken the last quarter of the rates off land, but if, with three quarters of the rates off, the industry has been suffering as seldom before, will the relief from the last quarter save it? As a matter of fact, the relief will very soon be absorbed in rent. Remember that Mr. Baldwin's Minister of Agriculture, now Lord Irwin, said that the government policy should bring back a million acres to the plough, but instead more than a million acres have gone back to grass. This is an area bigger than Worcester and Hereford combined, or Oxfordshire and Berkshire combined, or Cumberland. Could failure be more clearly shown? You have a great chance to put in a party which may promise less but will do more. See that you use it. <laughs>